what are your predictions federally for 2018? What do you see coming down the line at us from Justin Trudeau and his liberals? Well, I, I just hope they can maintain their clumsiness at this level and don't do anything too dire or further damaging. I mean, they've already done damage. The carbon tax will be damaged. The small business tax is damaging. All these things are damaging, but let's just hope that we can contain all of this so that in 2019, we can definitely go to the polls and affect change. You know, that's what I wish as a present for Christmas is that we can contain the damage <laughs> that our governments are are causing to our province and country. And then we need to, we also need to, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do in preparation for 2019, both provincially and federally. And your prediction for Alberta and what what does Rachel Notley have to throw at us in 2018? Well, you know, I think what she's going to be doing is oil prices have, have stabilized and they could go up. Um, she'll try to well, they're going to try and spend and buy more votes. So they're going to say it's not as bad. They're going to throw, you know, money everywhere. They're going to do the same thing that Kathleen Wynne does, which is buy votes. And unfortunately, people do get swayed by money. And so it's more than ever important for independent groups like ours to get that messaging out there that it's our money, money that they're buying us with. So it's more important that we report and you report the actual facts and we try to remain relatively independent. People always attach us to, you know, Unite Alberta or the UCP. Well, no, we're not. And I, I'm more than happy to be that way because we don't need the UCP to become the old PCs or the old Wild Rose for that matter. I think we both have to see our jobs as creating better conservatives and holding the people in power to account exactly. every day. Exactly. And, and I do believe that this has to be a generational change. You know, the old boys club and the old power brokers, provincially and federally, They've got to go because that's not the way you're going to engage new people, new, well, millennials or, you know, grow your base. Having these same old people, it's not going to work. So we have to affect real change. And I do believe that that's going to be a generational thing. That's an excerpt from my weekly full length show, The Gun Show on my show, I take on the issues of the day through my Alberta conservative lens, and I talk to the real newsmakers the mainstream media ignores. To get access to my show and all of our other premium content, click the link on the screen to subscribe today.